Caitlin Clark, Iowa break viewership records again in Wild Battle vs. Paige Bukers, UConn. With Caitlin Clark leading Iowa women's basketball to an exciting 71-69 victory over Paige Bukers and UConn women's basketball, the women's NCAA semifinals on ESPN broke viewership records. Up to the very last moments, the game kept spectators on the edge of their seats. The thrilling win over UConn by Iowa on Friday night in Cleveland set a record by being the most-watched women's college basketball game ever. According to Richard Deitch of The Athletic, a whopping 14.2 million people watched, with a peak audience of 17 million. This game had more viewers than the previous all-time high, which was set on Monday a few days ago when Iowa defeated LSU with an average of 12.3 million and a peak of 16 million people. Caitlin Clark of Iowa broke all previous marks for viewership. Regardless of gender, Iowa's victory in the Final Four attracted the third-largest basketball audience during the previous two years, encompassing both college and professional games. It was surpassed by last year's men's national championship match between UConn and San Diego State, 14.7 million viewers, and last Sunday's men's NC State Duke regional final, 15.1 million viewers. It is currently the highest-viewed basketball match on ESPN Networks since the Warriors vs. Raptors game in the 2019 NBA Finals, 18.59 million viewers. Along with eight games in the NCAA Men's Final Four and Game 7 of the NBA Western Conference Finals in 2016 and 2018, Thunder vs. Warriors, 16.0 million, Warriors vs. Rockets, 14.8 million, it also ranks as the 10th largest basketball audience ever on cable. While the Iowa Yukon crowd broke all previous records, the South Carolina NC State game earlier in the evening may have more promising long-term prospects. With 7.1 million viewers, South Carolina's victory over NC State was the second most viewed national semifinal in history. The only game that garnered more attention was the Virginia Stanford match on CBS in 1992, which attracted 8.1 million people. 10.8 million people watched all of the semifinal games together, more than twice as many as saw the same games the previous year. Additionally, the two games averaged 3.1 million viewers between the ages of 18 and 49, which is more than 130% more than the previous year. Higher numbers are expected for the women's basketball teams from South Carolina and Iowa. The majority of professionals in the sports media sector predict that Sunday's final match between South Carolina and Iowa, who are both unbeaten, will bring in the highest number of viewers ever. I'm just curious as to how high it will go. Two major factors, according to experts, have contributed to the recent spike in interest in women's basketball, the rise of a new generation of star players, including some incredibly talented people like Caitlin Clark, and the increased coverage of women's basketball games on networks, which indicates increased investment in the sport. 8.3 million people have watched Clark's March Madness games on ABC and ESPN on average. The NCAA Women's Final Four special presented by Capital One and the Women's Final Four National Championship will both air on ABC on Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. The final game between the top-seeded teams of South Carolina and Iowa begins at 3 p.m. Eastern Time.